Saturday, October 9th, 2010, shall go down the annals of history as a memorable moment in the life of Al Haji Ibrahim Bashir when he was conferred with the distinguished cabinet portfolio in the Adama Emirate Council, the fortress of Modibo Adama in Yola. On that historic day, Al Haji Ibrahim Bashir stepped into the larger than life shoes bequeathed by his own great father to become the sixth Saraki Ayuka Adamawa. The 12th Lamin of Fambina, Dr. Muhammadu Barkin Ali Mustafa, found him worthy in character, scholarship, and accomplishments to ascend to this eminent title, which incidentally was held by five other esteemed sons of the Emirate, including his own father, the late Sarki Ayuka Bashir. The new Sarki Ayuka, who was to abound on this great day of his life, was born in Yola on 29th December 1949 during the reign of Lamid Ahmadu, the 10th Lamid Adamawa. Ibrahim Bashir descended from Sarki Ayuka Bashir, son of the famous Jakada Ali, who was the first person from Adama Emirate to serve as the district head of Vere. Jakada Ali was appointed by Lamid Muhammad Abba in 1911. He was indeed the first person from Adama Emirate to come into contact with the much celebrated Koma community in Jada local council area. This historic tradition debunks the initially held notion that one of the former military governors of the old Gongola state was the one who discovered the people of Koma. In the contemporary history of the old Adama Emirate, the Sarki Ayuka title is equivalent to the position of Director of Public Works. Today, Sarki Ayuka Ibrahim Bashir is being conferred with this title which vests on him supervisory responsibility for public works in the Adama Emirate Council. In conferring the title on the new Sarki Ayuka, Lamid Barkindo paid tribute to his accomplishments in the public service, enjoining him to use this new portfolio to advance the cause of the people. <laughs> Mashawar China kan dukkan aikache aikache da suka shafi rayuwar jama'anmu to yau tara ga watan oktoba hijira 2010 Alhaji Ibrahim Bashir na nada ka sarkin ayyuka Adamawa In accepting the title the 6th Sarki Ayuka Adamawa paid tribute to the Lamido for finding him worthy of ascending to the highly valued position of his late father. My martaba wana rana ita chirana farin chiki awajana yang wana da boka arziki duka. My martaba amada ding yang wa da kuma ya laina ba mu da abinda zamu fada sai mu ce maka mun gode mun kuma roki Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ki saka maka da alheri duniya da lahira is the only surviving son of his own dear mother Hajia Didi on this very auspicious day of his life she prayed for the success of her son in his new status i am happy for my first and only surviving son Ibrahim on this unique day of his life. May Allah the Almighty bless and support him as he takes this new responsibility. I wish him success. I have always prayed for his success in this world and beyond, and I will continue to pray for him all the time. May Allah give him more wisdom to continue to lead people successfully. His elder brother and elder sister, Al Haji Abu Bakr Bashir and Hajiya Dadaji Bashir, feel that the ascension of their younger brother to the title of their late father is one of the greatest honors to have been done to the house of Jakad Ali by Lami Nubarkin Ali Muslim. All members of Sarki Ayuka Bashir's family are profoundly happy that our father's title has returned to our home. It is indeed a thing of remarkable joy that after moving around all the families for five decades, the Sarki Ayuka title is back to our fold once again. Today's event is a great and memorable moment for all descendants of Jakada Ali. Before now, 
We have not seen an event as huge as this one in this family. May Allah bless the era of Lamido Berkengo for his initiative and wisdom. May he also give Saki Ayuka Ibrahim the courage to carry the weight which the title confers on his shoulders. <laughs> We are immensely happy for this historic day in our lives. This is the kind of joy that one will never forget in his life. Our father, Sarki Ayuka Bashir, died over 50 years ago. Since then, we never thought that the title will easily return to our family. But Allah has made it possible. Alhamdulillah. We all wish the sixth Sarki Ayuka a successful tenure. Ibrahim is a very respectable personality. He is sympathetic to everyone. He is indeed the beacon light of hope for the whole family. Very helpful, accessible, and level-headed at all times. That is why you see the uncontrollable crowd beseeching his family home to share in the joy of his turbaning ceremony. I wish to advise him to continue in his tradition of patience, tolerant and prayerful. If he continues in this spirit and remains a meticulous listener, he will always be successful in all his endeavors. <laughs> Ibrahim Bashir's childhood friends and classmates are equally elated about what they saw as a great honor to their own generation by the 12th Lamid of Fombina. He considered a total achievement for all of us, not only for himself, uh, but for all of us classmates and friends. So it means a lot to me. To cooperate with the other traditional uh, title holders and also with the rulership of Adama. Some members of the Lamido's cabinet at the Adama Emirate Council, who will be working with the new Serki Ayuka, have also bared their minds on this distinguished gentleman on this very historic day of his life. A very uh, pragmatic uh, individual in life. He does not uh, uh, give in easily to gossips. He's all the time a team worker, a team player, and uh, an initiator of uh, all sorts of things that can uh, advance the community where he resides. So I can say Adama Ibarra Council is lucky to have such a kind of person like you. Uh, it's not an easy task, so, but uh, the, the important thing is uh, patience and tolerance. So and he, should be, he should be able to carry people along. So uh, he's now going to have more people, so he should be ready to accommodate them. To continue to be open-minded as he is used to be, so that to accommodate more people, to get more advice from people, like I said, to cooperate with the other traditional title holders in the Emirate, and to be loyal to the Lamido in order to succeed uh, the, uh, the, the assignment that has been uh, uh, given. Then to cooperate with the other traditional title holders in the Emirate, uh, so as to work for the betterment of Adama State in particular, and the nation in general. It is now the turn of some of the children of al Haji Ibrahim Bashir to bear their minds about their own further on this unique day in their lives. Incidentally, his eldest daughter, Samira, could not be physically present during the historic turbaning of her dear father. However, she was able to make it by the support of information technology. Samira Bashir spoke her mind from the West African state of the Gambia, where she is attending a professional advancement training. Even though she laments her absence at this ceremony, she paid glowing tribute to the new Serki Ayuka Adamawa, whom she described as the best father ever. I'm very happy for the family that my grandfather's title is defeated like that. This is a thing of joy. And this is the first time I'm very elated. I wish I could be in Yola, but it's sad and it's still here in the But I'm very happy. Because what is rightfully ours has now gone back to the family. And my advice for my father is he should always look on to Allah for motivation and 
and encouragement. And she should remain on waiver in discharging his duties as the new talking Ayuk of Adanawa. I pray that Allah will guide him, protect him, and direct his wisdom towards the credible discharge of his duties as the new talking Ayuka. May Allah protect and guide all of us. I wish I were there. I've been talking to my sisters, my brothers this morning. I really wish I were there. But I'm disposed. There is nothing I can do about it. This is just beyond me. If not, nothing could have stopped me from being there. And they are feeling my writing too down there. Just like I'm missing it too. I feel very, very happy for you. In fact, for all of us, I feel very happy. And he's a hardworking man. He's a caring man. And he's a very lovely man. He loves all of us and he loves many people. I will advise him to be good to people, all the people around him, the poor people, the, the rich people, everybody. I want him to be good to them, not only us. It's, it's a great day. And it's also a memorable day in the life of our dad and his children. Because he inherited it from his dad. Today is the happiest day in my life. My, my father has been talking as a Saki Ayuka of Adam State. He's a, he's a very simple person, a role model in the society. And I want to use this occasion, I want to use this occasion to thank everybody who is able to attend this program and those who are unable to attend this occasion. But who is al Haji Ibrahim Bashir? Like any typical son of the Adama Emirate, the sixth Sarki Ayuka Adamawa started his life with the pursuit of Quranic education at the age of five. By 1957, he began the long and arduous search for Western education at the defunct Native Authority chain of primary schools in Yola until 1963, the year when Nigeria became a republic. In 1964, 11 years into the reign of Lamido Ali Mustafa, young Ibrahim Bashir enrolled at the government secondary school Yola, which is today known as Ramat College until 1968. For the whole of 1970, when the Nigerian civil war was ending, al Haji Ibrahim Bashir studied cooperative management at the Cooperative Studies College in Zaria. Between 1974 and 1976, he continued his studies in cooperative management at the famous Kaduna Polytechnic. His career as an expert in cooperative management got its biggest boost in 1982, when he attended the International Cooperative College at Love Barrow Lakes in the United Kingdom. This college is the flagship of cooperative studies in the world and an affiliate of Loughborough University of Technology in the UK. From 1990 to 1992, Al-Haji Ibrahim Bashir secured a postgraduate diploma in public administration from the prestigious Ahmadu Bello University in Zaria. The sixth Sergi Ayuka Adamawa started a memorable public service career with the then Northeastern State Government as a cooperative inspector in 1969. From 1977 to 1981, he served as area cooperative officer in Gashaka Mambila region and the defunct Gongola State Government. He became the executive secretary of the Gongola State Cooperative Financing Agency from January to October 1983. Al-Haji Ibrahim Bashir also served as the general manager for the Gongola State Cooperative Federation Limited between 1983 and 1986. From 1986 to 1987, he assumed the post of mobilization officer for the Directorate of Social Mobilization, Social Justice and Self-Reliance, otherwise known as MAMSA. He was later appointed to head the Department of Monitoring and Evaluation for MAMSA in the defunct Gongola state. His career also veered into local government administration when he took the post of chairman of the defunct Yola Local Government Council, which then comprised of the present Yola North and South from 1994 to 1996. From 1996 to 1998, a period when General Muhammad Buhari took charge of the Petroleum Special Trust Fund, 
Serki Ayuka Ibrahim Bashir was made the PTF coordinator for Adamawa State. By dint of hard work and diligence, he rose to the pinnacle of the cooperative cadre as chief registrar of cooperatives for Adamawa State in 1990. In 1997, he was elevated to the post of permanent secretary in the Adamawa State government. He also served in the cabinet office and the Ministry of Water Resources and Rural Development in the same capacity. His exploits in the public service has not restricted to cooperatives and conventional bureaucracy, but has even extended to the media, politics and agriculture. In 1997, Sarki Ayuka Ibrahim Bashir was appointed chairman of the interim board for the Adamawa State Broadcasting Corporation in Yola until 1998. And in 2005, he joined the board of the Nigerian Agricultural Insurance Corporation as director where he served for nearly three years. He retired in 2001 from the public service to join the murky waters of politics, which I'm sure he never regretted because he has remained as calm, cool and calculated as ever before. From 2005 to date, he has been...